you guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do this chromatic aberration like RGB look effect in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So let's get started with the video and thank you guys for all the support on my last video. Okay, so let's start off in Premiere Pro and I have my clip right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Effects and I'm going to search up RGB and you're going to click on the color balance RGB and you're going to drag that onto our clip. And then we're going to hold Alt and drag our clip up to the second line and then hold Alt again and drag that clip up to the third line as well. So we're going to have three copies of the clip. Okay, so you also kind of want to offset the clips so they all start at different times. So the second clip is kind of starting two frames after the first one, and then the third one is starting two frames after the second one. Okay, so now we have the color balance effect on all three clips. So the first thing we're going to do is with our top clip, we're going to change the red to zero and the green to zero. Then we're going to go to our second layer and we're just going to reset the parameter and now they're all 100. And then I'm going to change red to zero and blue to zero. Now we're going to go to our bottom clip and I'm going to reset the parameter again. And I'm going to set green to zero and blue to zero. Now let's go back to our first clip and we're going to change the blending mode to add. And then we're going to go to our second clip and also change that blending mode to add. And our third clip will change the blending mode to add as well. Okay, so then you get this cool like effect going on where it's like all rainbowy. And I think it's really cool, especially when my hand is moving, because then it shows all the different pretty colors. And yeah, it could be a cool effect to add to like music videos and all that stuff. Okay, so now let's move to After Effects. So I have my clip right here, and then I'm gonna go to Effects and Presets and add set channels onto it. So I'm gonna drag it on, and then I'm gonna press Command D twice so that we have three layers of this clip. Okay, now you wanna kinda offset it. I'm just gonna drag the second clip a little bit further back, and then the top clip more further back. So they both, they all start at different timings. Okay, now we wanna go to the set channels, and for our top layer, we're gonna turn off red. We're going to turn off green and we're going to keep blue on. For our second layer, we're going to turn off red and then we're going to keep green on and then turn off blue. And then for our last layer, we're going to turn off blue, turn off green, and then we're going to keep red on. Now you want to select all your clips and then we're going to press screen. So now it has this cool little rainbowy sort of effect. And you can keep offsetting it a bit more so you can make it start later and then you can also scale some of it up. Um, so that it has the effect a little bit more cooler. So yeah, look at this. It has this like little rainbowy effect. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. So look, if you scale my second clip up, you could see that the effect pops more up and it has a purplish tint to it. You also want to just cut off the beginning where you offsetted it and, and you just want to start off right when your very top clip starts because that's when the effect really shows. So right now I'm going to hold all the clips and then I'm going to press command shift D and then just cut off the beginnings so we don't see the flash of the other like channels. So yeah, that's the effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.